I'm weird. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Oh, did I just say that? <gasps> Failing. I hate you. Let me put it up this way. I'm kind of embarrassed. I've grown up now. I'm in Bombay. <laughs> so embarrassing. I really work hard to get my abs, yeah? Are you crazy? What? Shut up. Just shut up. Lol at you. You can see my face has only gotten done because it was quite a rude one. Hi guys, thank you so much for subscribing to my channel and showing me so much love and support. I'm nearly at 10k subscribers, so if you guys haven't subscribed yet and are watching, please go subscribe. Anyways, so today I'm making a different kind of video. Um, I just wanna feel it. I wanna feel it. Ah, the drama, the effect is done. Glasses are dirty. So today I'm making a video where I'm gonna be talking about the assumptions you guys have about me. I posted this story in my Instagram and you guys made some assumptions about me. Okay, let's see. You hate momos. First of all, it's not momos. You can't say momos. It's momo. Momo. One momo, ten momo. It's not momos. No. How can you say I hate momo? There's no way I hate momo. Momo is life. If there's Three favorite foods I had to choose. One of them would be Momo for sure. You were born with a silver spoon. Um, yes, I totally agree that I was born with a silver spoon. I think I'm very grateful that I was born in a family where we didn't have many struggles as so many other people have in this world. I'm truly grateful for that and I definitely agree I was born with a silver spoon. If you weren't born with a silver spoon, you wouldn't have been famous. Um, well, I agree. And I disagree, but mainly I disagree. First of all, you're calling me famous. Thank you. I don't know if I agree to that fully. But the thing is that I chose to be in this field. And I know many people have chosen from my family circle, my friend circle, who've chosen things similar to my job. And the fact that I'm doing good, it's just because I have worked hard and I've known how to cater to the audience. My job is to create content. And if I have learned working the past few years to create content, then and to be able to entertain you guys well I've succeeded right definitely the upbringing and the education that I got helped me go to Mumbai the thing is that when I went to Bombay I knew no one I had an uncle and aunt around the age of 60s to 70s and they live a very simple life and I remember you know by the end of first year in college my Bombay friends who live in Bombay they were like you know Parakram the amount of friends you've made in Bombay in this one year we haven't made living here in Bombay all our lives so I guess you need to have it in you to be able to do what you do for anything that's what I feel am I being too preachy sorry guys this I'm, I'm so scared about this video because I know this is gonna be a video where many people are gonna judge me because I'm being my true self I'm being very vocal, not vocal, but I'm being very transparent in front of you guys. So please try not judging, but you guys can have your opinions. Constructive criticism always is something I take seriously. So I do believe that being born with a silver spoon helped me make it easier to be where I am. But once you get that platform, it's up to you. There's so much competition in this world. It's up to you to make sure to work hard and reach where you want to reach. Back in Bombay, nobody knows who I am. They just know I'm a cool kid from Nepal. And cool kid because I call myself cool. <laughs> I'm weird. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Anyways, you're 23. Um, that's a nice way of trying to find out my age. But I don't mind you calling me 23. I'm actually 26. <gasps> Turning 27 in July. Three months. <sighs> Anyways, you just just made me feel so bad. <laughs> you haven't found your soulmate. No, definitely not. I am in a phase of my life where I'm not looking for a soulmate. I'm looking to work. I'm looking to fulfill my ambitions. And that's where my focus is right now. Work. And to all of you who are trying to focus a lot on finding a soulmate or finding a lover. It will come when it has to come. Don't make too much of an effort. You have all your life to settle with someone in the future. I'm so happy being single. Oh, did I just say that? Like, officially? <sighs> you are going to Mumbai soon and rock the show. Wow. Thank you for saying that I'm gonna rock the show. Uh, <laughs> I sure am. <laughs> My dates have changed and it's been delayed and the reason is because I've taken up a big project for which I have to start shooting only in June. 
or July. So it's gonna continue till end of July. So I am here till July and after July is when I go back to Bombay finally and I'm there. I'll keep coming to Nepal because you guys show me so much love. I get so much work here and the reason I'm here in Nepal till now is because I'm getting so much work and because I'm getting so much work I am able to afford my stay here in Nepal. I'm not taking money from my family. I've been there, done that at times back in the past, but a time like this, if I need money for medical bills or for hospitals or for medicines, yes, my parents are there. For food at home, yes, my parents, my family is there, providing me food, electricity, everything is there here. That's the luxury of living in a home with family, yeah? You don't have to worry about this. Unlike in Bombay, we have to worry about everything and pay for everything. But no, I'm going back to Bombay for sure. Bombay is my home, my second home. Uh, I have set my base there. I've been in Bombay since 2012. My college, I did three years of college and after that I stuck on and I worked and I've created a base there and I don't want to leave that. My ambitions, my dreams, everything has always been in Bombay. I think it's a better portal for me to be more global as compared to working from Kathmandu. I really hope and wish for the best for my country because I love it so much and if we had those opportunities we would have been creating such great work and being so international and global you know with the potential we have is amazing but the economy is failing. You were up. I hate you. <laughs> Whoever this is. You were obsessed with Priyanka Chopra and even ended up stalking her? No. Okay. Let me put it up this way. Yes, I was obsessed with Priyanka Chopra during my teens. Crazy obsessed. I'm kind of embarrassed with the thought of being so obsessed with Priyanka Chopra. So I've deleted, hidden all my pasts, anything online. Tried my level best to hide. But yes, I was a crazy, I was a crazy fan of Priyanka Chopra. In fact, whoever knew me knew me as a Priyanka Chopra fan. This just gave me stress. <laughs> to recall my past, which I'm embarrassed about. Priyanka Chopra, big fan, crazy fan. I used to tweet her and she used to tweet back and I was such a big fan that she noticed me. She put me in one of her close fan circles and it was just such a privilege back then <laughs> as a kid, as a teenager. But I didn't stalk her. I used to go for events where fans were called, um, press meets and things like that. So I was around and she saw me often and then after that it so happened that when I wanted to be a director back then, um, I so happened to get a chance to intern for the film Zanjeer which starred Priyanka Chopra. So I was just like wow. After that I was just done. I was like done. I've grown up now. I'm in Bombay. <laughs> so embarrassing. I feel like you are such a... <laughs> how sweet. I feel like you are such a good, confident human. Indeed a good looking guy. Thanks yeah. Thank you guys. <laughs> you are humble and down to earth person. My grandfather always taught me the higher you go, the more you bend down. I think the more I do better, I feel more grateful and that just humbles you and that's what you guys should do as well. Humility is important. <laughs> okay, I'm just being preachy. You have a rigorous fitness routine including diet plans which you don't tell us about. Hello, I tell all of you about all my diet plans. Everything is so transparent. Don't you see me at wearing that gear and working out? Well, that is one of the main workouts I do outside my home. Apart from that, at home, I use the weights. I do HIIT training and um, that's about all. And I do my intermittent fasting that I told you guys about. I have my early dinner by 5, 6 in the evening, which is a little intense on the days that I'm home. Raw foods at 5, 6 in the evening, light but nutritious and then the next day at lunch is straight when I have my ghar ko khana, home cooked food. That's how I stay fit. People say, oh you're so lucky, you're so skinny, you've got abs. I really work hard to get my abs, yeah? It's not that easy. It's not been that easy for me and for anyone who has abs, they know that it's not easy to maintain them. Like, you have to constantly keep working hard. Like, I've not worked out for, I've not worked out, I injured my wrist and I have not worked out for a week and I won't be able to work out for 10 days but you know the reason I still have a little bit of abs is because I've been doing my intermittent fasting so whatever fat is in my stomach is going in my abs whatever is remaining and is fading away that shows. I talk a lot and the next assumption is extrovert, confident and self-loving based on videos and posts. If I think about it, I think I am an extrovert. But I can be shy as well, but mostly I'm an extrovert. Confident is something I'm working upon and I think you guys are giving me the confidence, the love that you guys are showing me in all the social media platforms and in person. Um, that's giving me confidence for sure. I needed it. Thank you so much for that. But self-loving, um, I don't know. That's something I 
struggle with i that's something i have to work on a lot i keep seeing flaws in myself and it's just like an annoying cycle where i'm always talking about what's wrong in my face what's wrong in my body and what's not right so self love is something i need to really work upon you are filthy rich no i'm not uh, go check my bank balance look i'm a freelancer and the money i get i sustain till the till i get the next amount of money in the process i've not been able to save at all <laughs> but i wish i was fully rich i'm not why don't you guys come and see my life in bombay see the place i live in we don't have a place right now but when we do it's very simple it's enough that we can afford for rent and um, you'll see the life there man um, it's just here in nepal I have a old home and i'm more privileged here in nepal you don't care about covid are you crazy who doesn't care about covid yeah i'm guessing people are being a little more lax but why wouldn't you care about covid i mean i have my grandparents parents if i go out and i feel like i may have been not that careful then i literally for 3 days i stay at home i'm not scared of covid in terms of will i die because i'm young and i'm fit and i believe that i will survive it through but who wants to waste those 2 weeks being covid positive and staying at home that would be a shame for someone like me who's always on the run doing something wanting to work wanting to uh, find ways to keep myself busy so i have been very careful because of that reason as well that i don't want to be stuck at home for 2 weeks what will i do for that reason you could say i care about covid beneath this cheerful personality of yours there's some hurts and tiny bitterness concealed definitely i believe myself to be cheerful but do i get hurt do i have things that hurt that have hurt me or things that are hurting me and do i have like bitterness that is concealed hell yes definitely i'm a cancerian and uh, i'm very emotional so a lot of thing hurts me but at the same time i have learned because i've been hurt so many times i've learned to detach and i detach i'm so detached from the world i'm a very independent person i need to see people but i need to be by myself by the end of it um hi hi what's I, up are you live yeah say hi I'm doing a assumption video about being bitter. Yeah, of course. When sometimes you may see people who are doing really well and you'd want to be there or their competitors, you do kind of feel a slight amount of bitterness towards them. But at the same time, you have to remind yourself that don't compare yourself with others. You do you. You're doing good in what you're doing. Or you, if you want to reach there, well, that's great. Work hard. No excuses. Just work hard. <laughs> you don't have the Nepali accent in real. What? Shut up. Just shut up. You think I would lie about my accent? I know I have a very Indian accent and I thought, you know, honestly I thought that I have this Indian accent because I went to India. So because my mom has an Indian accent because she studied in India as well, I think that's how me and my sister picked it up because Ayush and Samar, my two brothers who went to school with us, they they are Nepalese weak but they don't have that accent. Okay, so I have it. So I put two and two together i'm like okay that's why we have an indian accent well that's what it is but i would never fake my nepali accent you don't understand how bad i feel that i cannot go out and just randomly talk to anyone from my country and feel like home like i have to talk to someone in nepali and they assume i'm from india or i'm not nepali that is annoying right like i love the people of my country and i really want to be able to talk to them i've tried to improve my nepali and you can see it on tiktok i've really been working on my lingo to such an extent that now when i speak in hindi to my friends sometimes when i'm on the phone it's so bad i have seen your posts since you were a die hard fan of pc okay we get to pc again i thought people forgot i think you show off a lot and you are a poser lol lol at you <laughs> i think we live in a world where we all show off one way or the other not everyone but if you are on social media if you are active on social media i'm sure there are many times that everyone has showed stuff around and i won't call it show off but like social media is all about showing and my career my job is being on social media and creating content okay a rich privileged rana full of himself kid But oh, okay. In brackets it says, but found out you are so not that. Ha ha. Well, well, I'm glad you found out. I'm not, and I hope that's true. If you're trying to bring my surname to judge me, I don't know if that's fair. Full of myself. We all are a little full of ourselves, don't you think so? I think um, it is a narcissist world we live in. Uh, a lot of us are narcissists, at least those with social media. <laughs> Again, as much as I'm full of myself, I also. 
लोद माई सेल्फ सो इट बैलेंस इज इज आउट बैलेंस इज इट आउट के एनी वेज यू कैन सी माई फेस इज ओनली गॉड डॉन बिकॉज इट इज क्वाइट रूड वन बट इट्स ओके इट्स ओके वेल आई कॉल फॉर इट You would be very friendly when you meet any of your followers. I sure hope so, but I have been very friendly when I met any of my followers. And here in Nepal, you guys show me so much love. Like whenever I'm out, there's always someone or the other coming to say hi. The only time where I may not seem friendly is when I'm wearing my earphones and people actually have message saying, "I said hi to you. You didn't look at me. I said I'm so sorry. I was listening to music. I couldn't hear you." But apart from that, I'm always very grateful when you guys come up to me and say hi. It really means a lot. Thank you so much. Keep it coming. It makes me so happy, and it just make all the work that I do worth it. So yes, I'm very friendly when I meet my followers. You are very tall, and that's a very smart way of trying to find out what my height is. <laughs> I know that I'm not that tall. I'm five, six and a half, five seven. you can average it out to be um uh, well that's a that's all the assumptions that are there for now um <laughs> some of them were funny some of them were plain rude some of them were mm, kind of disturbing but yeah i guess if it, uh, these are assumptions and uh, well i hope i cleared them up them out for you thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed it um if you guys want more of this if you guys have any ideas as to what you want me to vlog about Keep it coming down in the comments below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. That's something I never have done in the last few vlogs, and I realize that I need to make that effort to say, please like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm so close to 10k subscribers. Yeah, thank you guys.